Hello, I'm Michael Hahn in North Texas, outside of a town, Farmersville, Texas. Farmersville is the home of Artie Murphy and used to be the onion capital of North Texas. I'm here to show you a solution to two problems regarding the introduction of a puppy to a herd of goats. The puppy is a great Pyrenees which has a natural instinct to protect the goats. The two problems, the first one is that there's already a great Pyrenees adult taking care of the goat herd. The second problem is that we want to nurture the instinct of the great Pyrenees to protect the goat as opposed to chase the goat. So we're going to show you how to have the puppy get along with the adult during the first introduction and the second solution how to help nurture the instinct of the Great Pyrenees. I want to show you that we're going to use a choke collar which when properly used is the most effective training tool with a dog. The choke collar to put it on properly you need to slip it over the dog's head and make sure that the ring is down in such a way that when you let go of this part of the choke chain that it slips down. The second tool we're going to use is a leash, which is a good strong leash, which is not really thin. If you use a thin leash or a chain, you run the risk of hurting the dog because if it wraps around the dog's leg, it's going to hurt the dog. The dog I want to introduce you to is King Cotton. This dog was slightly abused. I received the dog two weeks ago. The dog has a great temperament. The dog's coming along very well. The dog's approximately four months old. And the dog is King Cotton. This is a great Pyrenees that should, when it's full grown, be about 110 pounds. Once again, this is King Cotton. One of the first few times she's ever been on a choke chain. Notice that uh, he's being pretty well behaved. I always try to teach him a trick or two, like how to sit, sit, sit. Just do that, do it a thousand times, that dog will sit for you one day. Beautiful dog. Another important tool when training a dog is the tone of your voice. Just remember, be soft and gentle with the dog most of the time. Good dog, good dog. But whenever the dog is doing something, exhibiting behavior that is not good. A nice little firm yank on the leash and use a word like no consistently and a loud tone. No. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Lots of praise, but when you use the word no, mean it and show them that you mean it. Good dog. The purposes of this demonstration, I've already separated the goat herd from the dominant male dog that's four years old. And you'll notice I have a herd of mixed goats, some Spanish, some Nubian, some uh, with a little bit of fanning goat, and a boar goat. So the 18 goats are a mixed group. Uh, basically what you want to do is make sure that the male dog is by himself. Ideally you would take the male dog out of his own territory to introduce him. Uh, we're not going to do that today. I'm going to show you another way to do it, and we'll see how successful we are. Okay, now you'll notice that the male dog is wanting to protect his environment. There you go. See, notice he's, he's not really wanting the puppy to be anywhere near him. Also, you see that the puppy is unsure about the goats. A couple of these are pretty aggressive goats. And one early in the day butted the puppy. But we'll see how we go, how it works with uh, putting the puppy and the adult dog together. What I've done at this point, I've taken a couple of the goats that are more aggressive. I brought them in with the dog. This way when the puppy comes in, if he has a tendency to chase any of the goats, the goats are going to put the puppy in place. Rocket, come here boy. This is an exceptional dog. He's been with the goats for three years. I take him, I put him on a good stout chain. This is just temporarily, just for a few minutes to see how he reacts with the puppy. 
Okay, I've got the two dogs. I've got the adult dog to where there's a danger zone, to where if the puppy gets too close, there will be fireworks, but I hopefully will keep the situation under control. Rocket, pay the adult dog a lot of attention. Let them know you haven't forgotten about them. There you go. There you go. Relax, relax, relax. Good rocket. Good rocket. We're lucky that the puppy's young enough that if he's dominated by the alpha, the older adult dog, that it'll hopefully keep the puppy in place. Good rocket. Good rocket. Good rocket. Good rocket. Slowly I let him get a little bit closer. But realizing there's a danger zone. Come here. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Notice how top the chain is. I want to keep these jaws away from the puppy and away from my leg. Good dog. What a good dog. Okay, you guys doing okay? You guys doing okay? Okay? Okay, now I'm going to let them actually get closer. And I'm going to be ready to say a strong no. Good dog. Good dog. Come here, King Cotton. Good dog, good rock, good rock. You want to play? Good dog, good dog, good dog. Now we also have the goat herd over here that I'm going to take the uh, dog, the puppy, close to. And you'll notice that the goats are probably going to be pretty aggressive around the puppies. Come here, King Cotton. King Cotton. I give him lots of lead. Let him make his own points. Let him make his own direction. Come on, come on, King Cotton. Come on, goats. Yeah. Goats. Yeah. I want to have more control of the goats, so I'm going to use their favorite carrot, which is goat feed. And I'm going to call them up here. Come here, goats. Come here. Come here, goats. Come here, goats. There you go. Now I've got the goats up here. <laughs> come here, come here, King Cotton. Look at these goats. Look at these goats. Those are goats. That's for you to protect. Those are goats for you to protect. He's doing really well. He's not exhibiting any aggressive behavior. I'm going to go ahead and take them off of his uh, choke chain now. I'm confident yeah, yeah. that the goats can protect themselves if he decides to chase them. He seems to be doing just great. There you go. There you go. There you go. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? King Cotton, what do you want to do? Good boy. Good boy. This is Rocket. Now I'm going to also bring him back over to Rocket. This way if Rocket jumps on him, Rocket's the big <laughs> alpha, that the, the puppy will at least have a chance of escaping. Notice that Rocket is still on this uh, chain, and he's not going anywhere outside of the chain zone. Good Rocket. Good Rocket. Good Rocket. Good Rocket. Good Rocket. Rocket's interested in him. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I haven't heard Rocket growl uh, since the initial introduction. There was a little bit of growling. But knowing uh, Rocket the way I do, I'm going to go ahead and let Rocket go, and we'll see how Rocket does with the puppy. Good boy. Good boy. Let's take this off. Okay? You want to be nice to the puppy? You want to be nice to the puppy? Okay, okay. Let's go see the puppy. Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy? No. Here you come. No, boy. No, boy. That's exactly what you want, where they're more uh, getting into play mode than fight mode. Come here, Rocket. Good boy, good boy, good boy. King Cotton, come here, boy. 
And I'll be doing that three or four times over the next week. And after a week, I think I'm going to have a good puppy to help protect the goats.